Ford has just said its costs of doing business, of making cars, they're not competitive in China, Europe, or North America. And they have secretly launched a plan to rid themselves of tens of thousands of employees in a bid to win the war. And I mean the sales war, the economic war, the staying in business war, the avoiding bankruptcy war. Ford have actually fired staff way more than they've hired for every single year in a row for six straight years. Over the past 12 months, they've sped up their job cuts with more than 10,000 people being asked to leave within the last 12 months alone. Ford is clearly shrinking its international operations. It's trying to become leaner. It's trying to stop the bleeding after a 1 billion loss in the last quarter. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Great. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. In 2018, Ford had 200,000 employees. 2019, it was cut down to 191,000. In 2020, it was cut down to 186,000. In 2021, 183,000. In 2022, 173,000. And within 12 months, the figure will be closer to 160,000, meaning Ford will have fired 40,000 staff over the past five years. Now, the firings are actually a lot bigger than that, but that includes rehirings. This is just the totals, right? This is just the total number of employees. Ford actually would have probably fired twice that number. But what I'm talking about is the balance. So Ford had 200,000 employees five years ago. Now they have approximately 160,000. That's a big difference. Why are they doing this? Well, the reason is because they're making a loss. They're making a loss in Europe. They're making a loss in China. And so they're trying to make some hard decisions here. They're trying to say, well, you know, what do we need to do to stay alive? Well, we're going to have to fire people, lots of them. This is only the start. This is only the beginning. A lot more Ford staff will lose their jobs because the majority of Ford staff right now, they're involved in what? They're involved in internal combustion engine manufacture, right? If, if their primary job is to build an internal combustion engine vehicle, will that job exist in five years' time? Well, I'd say the good, there is a good chance it won't. And Ford doesn't seem particularly interested in bringing over staff from its internal combustion engine division and putting them into its electric car division. It seems to believe that that's not really the best strategy. Now, the irony is this is not a short-term trend. For example, it was reported in 2018 on the 11th of October, Ford is facing mass layoffs after posting a $1 billion loss following Trump's tariffs. Now, these numbers I've just reported to you may be conservative because reports recently from Bloomberg say that Ford is actually planning on laying off 8,000 people alone in North America. If they were to do that, that would combine with the nearly 4,000 staff they've laid off or plan to lay off in Europe and the 1,300 jobs they're about to eliminate in China. Now, why are they eliminating all these jobs in China when historically they've actually made a lot of money in China? Well, it's because of this. Ford sales in China fell below half a million units for the first time in a decade in 2022. And they're even worse this year. Now, this continues a slide that began in 2016 for the company when the US automaker shipped an incredible 1.3 million vehicles and had a market share of 5% in China. That share has dropped to 2% last year. Now it's around 1.5%. The reason? Chinese consumers are increasingly embracing local car manufacturers and electric cars, such as Tesla and BYD. Here's what a Ford spokesperson said. Our costs are not competitive, and we are working internally and with our partners to reduce costs in all areas. We can only win through a lean and agile organization. These actions are necessary for us to build a healthier and more sustainable business in China. Now, I personally think that uh, Ford's considering possibly the likelihood of it losing the majority of its China sales position and potentially pulling out of China altogether. Why do I say that? Well, Ford is restructuring its China operations to turn one of its joint ventures into an export hub for low-cost commercial electric and combustion vehicles. CEO Jim Farley said this back in April. However, the company also plans to operate leaner and more efficiently in China. 
by focusing on more profitable operations, such as Lincoln and commercial vehicles. So I believe it's Ford's plan here to basically make cars in China, ship them around the world to other countries because it's more cost effective to do so. But I think Ford sees the writing on the wall here. Their sales are declining every single year at a rapid pace. They're down a further 27% this year versus a big fall last year. It's really just the writing is on the wall here. Ford are collapsing in China along with all other legacy automotive companies. Ford said earlier this year it would eliminate 3,800 jobs across Europe due to raising, due to rising costs and trying to move towards making electric cars. The company has around 170,000 staff as of around six months ago, but it's believed those numbers will drop by the end of this year to 160,000. And the reason being here, Ford plans on spending a lot of money, a lot of money it doesn't really have. It's going to invest $50 billion into making electric cars between now and 2026. That's $50 billion over the next two and a half years. So Ford plans on cutting $3 billion from its operational costs. It needs that money. It needs that money to move away from gasoline power cars to EVs. It needs the battery production. It needs new factories. It needs new production lines. See, this is what happens. Everyone keeps saying, it's easy to make EVs. It's not. You need massive investment. And if you think this, this investment is large, well, compare it to Volkswagen, who plan on spending 200 billion US dollars over the next seven years into EV production and battery production. Now, Ford only has about 31,000 salaried employees in the United States. So if they cut 9,000 staff, as is Bloomberg's belief this will happen, then that means Ford is essentially cutting around more than 30% of its staff in North America alone. That is huge. And it may have to do the same thing in Europe, where its sales are cratering as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.